Want to know what it's like to be a lottery winner? Grandma, you okay, boy? We won the lottery. We won! Well, you can either wait until you win the jackpot to find out, or you can have a look at how this lottery winner is living. We're going to walk you through the life and mansion of the winner of the newest record-breaking $2 billion Powerball jackpot. What's he been spending his money on? Let's find out. I'm asking you nicely. Where's the money? Not much is known about Edwin Castro. The winner has been pretty secretive about his life. He didn't ever appear at the press conference to collect his giant check. We don't even know what he did for a living. We do know he was in the Scouts, and he was a great athlete in high school. He lived in Pasadena, California for most of his life, and he's reportedly still in his early 30s. Oh, and he was the winner of the biggest lottery jackpot of all time. He won in November 2022 after purchasing the winning ticket at a mobile gas station in the LA suburb, Altadena. He had no idea it would soon be worth $2.04 billion. Well, almost. He chose the lump sum, which shaved off a pretty big portion of that $2 billion win, and the taxes took a whole lot more. So, in the end, he actually took home $997.6 million. Ouch. But even though losing a billion dollars on taxes has got to sting a little, that's still an incredible amount of cash. Life should have been a dream after that, but he was facing a lawsuit immediately. A man named Jose Rivera claimed that the ticket had been stolen from him, not by Edwin, but by another man named Reggie. He doesn't know how the ticket ended up in Edwin's hands. Unless, of course, Rivera is just a liar hoping to get lucky. Rivera was trying to sue for the ticket, but we're not sure what happened to the lawsuit. The lottery says they're content that their background checks proved Edwin is the real owner. We might never know for sure, but it seems Edwin's money is safe for now. Unless he spends it all. Within just 30 days, Edwin had bought a gigantic mansion worth a whopping $25.5 million. Of course, we're going to take a look inside. There's no doubt it's a spectacular property. And not just because it comes with neighbors like Ariana Grande, Dakota Johnson, and Jimmy Kimmel. The three-story mansion is built into a cliff on top of a ridge that gives it an uninterrupted view of the valley below. The 13,500-square-foot house is just as impressive inside. Its contemporary block-style design means that the living area on the main level is open plain. Oh, and it's ginormous. On one side, is a huge feature fireplace. The other side is the seriously stylish and very well-equipped kitchen, which boasts black granite countertops. The other side of the room, which overlooks the view of LA, is simply one giant wall of glass. Of course, the glass wall can slide open to connect the living area to the sun loungers and infinity pool. Even though the inside of the house is so close to the outdoor area, if you stepped around the side of the house next to the pool, you'd find a full outdoor kitchen with a built-in barbecue. But that's just the beginning. After all, the house has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Before we even mention the special extras, we'll get to those in a minute. The master bedroom features the same breathtaking floor-to-ceiling views of the city as the main living room and takes full advantage of it with a big balcony with an outdoor sofa seat. Walk through the in-suite bathroom with a white stone shower toward the freestanding bathtub, and you'll discover the bathroom also has its own balcony with spectacular views. There is, of course, a really big walk-in closet connected to the room, but that doesn't mean the other four bedrooms don't deserve some love. It seems like they also each feature a balcony, and their end suites are all slightly different, so there's always something surprising to discover. If that wasn't enough outdoor space, there's also a big roof terrace on top of the mansion and two fire pits hidden on the property. Back inside, there are plenty of luxuries to discover. The property boasts a private fitness studio, which also looks over the beautiful views. It's equipped with two luxurious indoor spa-style plunge pools, one hot and one cold. There's also a dry sauna and a steam shower in that serene space. Another level of the house features a spectacular luxury hotel-worthy bar. And, of course, it's connected to a game room with a pool table at the center. Just off to the side is a beautiful private movie theater. To finish it off, the mansion has two separate garages that can hold up to seven cars. And that might be a good thing, as we're about to find out. Yes, he's obviously bought an expensive car, 
and we'll reveal what it is in a moment. But we've got to ask, do you think he should be spending $25 million on a mansion? I mean, let's not forget lottery winners like Michael Carroll. He was a garbage bin collector when he suddenly won the equivalent of $10 million. That should have been a great moment, especially because he had a wife and more importantly, a baby who could have grown up with all the opportunities in the world. But instead, Michael began spending the money on huge parties, incredible amounts of drugs, and even women. He was hosting orgies in his house, which were 55 grand per night, and he was drinking two bottles of vodka per day, starting at breakfast time, which he topped off with drugs. He was also literally throwing money away by destroying expensive cars on his backyard racetrack, which became more like a demolition derby. He lost all his friends and his young wife in the process. Pow! Now, we're not saying that Edwin is definitely gonna go down that road, but 25 million for a house is pretty crazy, especially when it only took him 30 days to choose the gigantic property. Oh, and speaking of luxury cars, Here's the car Edwin is currently driving around in. It's a vintage Porsche worth a whopping 250 grand. Let's face it, it's a gorgeous car. It must have been pretty difficult to resist that purchase. Just look how happy he is. And that's not where the spending stops. Think one giant mansion is enough? Not for Edwin. After he purchased the one we just walked you through, he bought another. And we're gonna show you. See what we mean about his spending? It's pretty easy to suddenly lose all your lottery cash. Those of you who know a lot about jackpot winners are probably thinking that Michael Carroll isn't a good comparison. After all, he was a teenager when he won the lottery. But he's not the only winner who threw away his fortune. Just think of David Lee Edwards. He was once a part of one of the biggest lottery wins in history, just like Edwin. He was one of four winners of a $280 million Powerball jackpot in 2001 and he took home $27 million. The first thing he did was marry his girlfriend, and it looked like they were set for life. But then he purchased a mansion, and then a private jet, and then came one expensive car after the next, until there were more than a dozen of them. Oh, and there were a lot of drugs. Within just five years, all his money was gone, and they were living in a filthy storage shed that doubled as a toilet. His wife obviously left, but he sadly died there. It's a slippery slope when you start spending millions you never thought you'd have. And even though Edwin only won in November, he already has two mansions, including one that costs almost as much as David Lee Edwards' entire jackpot. Hopefully, he doesn't go down that path. His second mansion didn't cost as much as the first, and it's located in his hometown, so he might have bought it for a good reason, like having a place to stay when he wants to visit his family. But it wasn't cheap either. It's worth four million. Let's take a look inside so you can decide if it was worth it. This Japanese-inspired mansion is surrounded by tall tropical palm trees and features a gentle mountain view. The property is clearly designed for serenity, but still has modern finishes like an open-plan living room, dining area, and kitchen. The large living room with floor-to-ceiling windows also has a fireplace and built-in clock. The Jatoba wood floors are another feature in the house. The kitchen, like his other house, is very well equipped and comes with granite countertops and a kitchen island slash breakfast bar. The kitchen also opens onto a tropical garden, thanks to the large glass doors. The outdoor space comes complete with a saltwater swimming pool, a sun deck, and a zen patio. This property also has five bedrooms, but only five bathrooms, two less than his other house. The bathrooms all seem pretty big, and some open out onto the landscape gardens. You've probably noticed all the artwork by now. The house came with the artwork included, and it seems that alone is worth a substantial amount of money. Walk through the house and you'll find another living room that also opens onto the gardens. There are a lot of hidden features to this house too. It comes with a solar-powered energy system and a two-car garage complete with an electric car charging port. But that's not the only bonus. Aside from the private office, it also has a private cinema. Even outside of the screening room, the whole house is fitted with surround sound audio speakers, which all music lovers will agree is a dream. There's no doubt Edwin had made some good purchases. Both his properties are pretty spectacular, and they're different enough to justify the two purchases in the same state. But do they justify the price? Sure, the $4 million mansion isn't even worth 1% of Edwin's jackpot, so maybe that kind of purchase is totally fine with a win as big as his was. 
But let's not forget that it's gone wrong for lottery winners before, who all thought their purchases won't make a difference. What do you think? Is he right? Or is he heading in the wrong direction? Either way, we sure wish him luck. Edwin's mansions are pretty amazing, but not all celebrity mansions can match up. Want to take a look inside some celebrity-owned mansions that nobody wants to buy? Then click here.